Welcome back everybody, Bakuzilla here, and today we will be doing a review on the Gamera The Complete Collection. So first starting off, obviously we have this very nice looking box here. We have Gamera uh, doing his little fire attack and it just goes into his little flying, uh, I don't know what to call it, thing? When he starts flying with the thrusters, you know. Uh, I haven't watched any Gamera movies, so I'm not sure what this is about here. Uh, it, it's something. Uh, you have the title here, the complete collection, and you have some of Gamera's foes here on the sides. You have the octopus dude. You have the shark head, uh, stabby knife man. You know, you got is those dudes? I, I don't know what they're called. Uh, I don't. That looks like a. Never mind. I thought it was a Gios, but it's not. Um, on the side here, uh, we have. Let me back up a little more. This is very big, by the way. This is very, very big. This is my hand. It's, yeah, it's, it's big. Anyway, arrow video, arrow video right here, camera. And then going from uh, oldest to newest movie, you have all of them right here. The back is just Gamera's shell. Move it up. It's just Gamera's shell. And finally, you have everything that is inside. So starting off with the movies, uh, this is the cover of the uh, little thing that the movies come in. It's basically the cover of the main box, except without the wording. On the side, you just have the complete collection. And then finally, Gamera's shell. Once you open this thing, it's a lot of stuff. Anyway, um, on this side, you will get all the movies, and on this side, you'll get some pretty cool artwork corresponding to the movies. So, here, and also the artwork on the discs is also very, very nice looking. I'm not going to take out all the discs. That's going to take a long time, but you can see them here. So this is like Gamera, the giant monster, the first one. And this is like a collection of two movies in this one. And then some artwork. This is, I'm guessing, Burugan. Burugan. And this is Gios. Uh, in here, if I'm able to pull it out. Eh. Come on. Give it to me. There we go. In here, we have a map. So, we have two sides. We have the side that's in Japanese, but uh, I don't know if you know, but I do not speak <laughs> Japanese. So, we go to the other side for our English here. Gamera map, Gamera's map of Japan, 1965 to 2006. And it's basically just a history of all the Gamera movies and where they've taken place. And just like little descriptions for each place. For each movie, just every, everywhere. One in Antarctica, you got all the movies down here. Yeah, it's just a pretty cool thing that you get, which I will now put back in here. If I can, there we go. Okay. And the next page here, here we have some more discs. Well, they're all Blu-ray, by the way. All these are Blu-ray. Some more very, very nice artwork. Uh, this is where we get into the Gamma Trilogy. Again, the movies here, beautiful artwork. And then Gamera 3, what's this one? Gamera the Brave. There they are. And finally back here we have just some different designs of Gamera. Uh, not sure where they're from. I can't tell you that, but I can show you all these. These are basically all the artwork that comes on the discs. So I didn't pull out the discs because we'll just look through these and you'll see all the artwork. So I'm just gonna, and also tells you what it is on the back. So this is for the giant monster here. 
this artwork is for Gamera versus Baragon. This one is for Gamera versus Geos. This is probably Gamera versus Virus. Yep. Here we have Gamera versus Giron. Guri Giron. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then finally for this little set here, Gamera versus Jiger. Then all oh, these ones. Let me pull these out. This one. It's Gamera versus Zegra. This is Gamera Super Monster. This is Gamera One Guardian. Yeah, Gamera Guardian of the Universe. This is Gamera Two, Attack of Legion. This is Gamera Three, Revenge of Iris. Very cool. Very cool. And then Gamera the Brave. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna put these all back in, and I will be back with the next little piece of the collection. Next up, we have the Gamera, the comics collection. Uh, so this is, I'm not sure if it's all the comics or just some, but this is five of the Gamera comics. Uh, on the cover here, we have some very, very nice looking artwork with Gamera there doing some fire attacks with some of his little bad guys in the background and some random girl that I don't know who she is because I haven't read these yet. And that's not the what the review's about. So if you came here for the comics, uh, uh, no. I, <laughs> uh, here it says, Gamera, the comics collection. Here is all of them on the back. Just all these ones. And then looking through here. Let's, uh, let me back up a bit so you guys can see this. Okay. If I can open it. So the first one is we have Gamera the Last Hope. Also artwork contents. So we have Gamera the Last Hope, Gamera 1, the Shadow of Evil, Gaios. Gamera 2, uh, Reckoning. I think that's I'm I'm not good at reading, so uh Gamera 3 Up from the Deep, Gamera 4, the Last Hope. Oh, so they're just titled the same thing. Okay. Okay, so here we have The Last Hope. I'm not gonna show you all the comics because uh, buy, buy it yourself. But it does, like, it does look really nice. It, it's very, very nice looking artwork. Uh, you have Gamera, Guardian of the Universe. Uh, also pretty cool looking artwork. Not as cool as a previous one. The previous one had some... Delicious looking artwork, I gotta say. Uh, more, more, more comic. We got all these. We got all, all these. Got all. Yeah, this one. And then, if I can find the last one, should be around here. Or did I just skip it, you know, because I'm such. An immense brainage. Here, let's go back. Ah, oh, here. Pretty sure this is the second last hope. I'm not. Uh, Gamera four of four. This is like a, all the comics, I'm guessing. And you get another nice piece of artwork. And um, yeah, that's it for the comics collection. I will be back with the last thing in this whole thing collection yeah so the final piece of this is basically i don't know what to call this it's just like a little fun fact booklet about gamera his history all the movies uh just the monster descriptions all that kind of stuff you know uh we're gonna go not all through it we're just gonna skim through it we'll see how it goes here's the cover art very beautiful of gamera fighting off Gios and uh uh i I'm guessing that's, um, if I remember, that's uh, Baragun, ba Baragun, 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 whatever, um, with his little rainbow, whatever he has there. I don't know what he's doing up there. He's having a 
a great time, I'm guessing. But uh, yeah, let's 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 uh let's see what's in this. Let's let's go let's go let's skim through this. Let's see what's in here. So, whatever that is, we have context. A history of Gamera, and it just goes through all the movies, like all, all the movies here. Gamera, Guardian of the Universe. Oh, that's okay. Moving on, we have an interview with the main, like, uh, director dude of Gamera. Do we have some extra? Oh, this is still the interview. Yes, this is still the interview. And then we get to the fun parts, the anatomies of all the different Gamera creatures. Here we have Legion, Geass. Ooh. Ooh. Some dudes. I'm pretty sure this is from uh, Gamera the Brave. And then we have the turtle scoop. I don't know what that means. The turtle scoop? Pretty much, I think this is a description, like a walkthrough of some Gamera movies. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, some stuff. Let's, let's let's try to find out. Inside the Hey Ah, oh, it's a, a description of the Heisei trilogy. All right, the the Gamera trilogy. That's that's that that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Then it's just description going through the Gamera trilogy, which I'm very excited to watch. And then, a guide to English language Gamera. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just like how they got translated. Ah, it's just all the translations and where what they changed and stuff. I see. I see, I see. Okay. And then... Just some other stuff, special thanks, production credits, about the transfers. Then, you have Gamera flying off. And then the super cool artwork of what I'm guessing is one of Gamera's foes from the comics, which this guy looks super cool. Very big fan of whoever this is. I cannot wait to read the comics. And if I, if I, I might do a review on the comics, maybe the movies, probably. Probably will do a review once I watch them. But this guy looks pretty, pretty nasty, pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's everything. That's, it, it's, that it, that, yeah, that's everything. So for my final thoughts and ratings on this Gamera collection, um, first I want to say that I really don't review anything like this here on my channel. And it's probably going to be a very rare occurrence that I do review something like this. So I usually have categories for, like, for figures, for example. I have, like, articulation, paint, sculpt, uh, stuff like that. Um, but this, I'm just going to just talk about what I like, talk about what I don't like, and then uh, rate it all together. So... First, I want to talk about the price. The price for this thing, I'm pretty sure it was like 175, but I found on Amazon for 125. So I got a pretty good deal on that. And then the pre-orders uh, sold out like everywhere. And um, it took it, it took months for the pre-orders sold out, but once they sold out, they sold out. So um, yeah, if you got this thing, good job. If you didn't and you're watching this wondering if you do want to get it, um, well, you do, you should, if you shouldn't, you should have gotten it. If, uh, you, sh you should have gotten it because this is going to go crazy on aftermarket and I am not sure if it is ever going to come back on retail. Probably. You can probably wait and it'll come back on retail, but for the time being, aftermarket's your only choice and do not pay aftermarket prices ever. Just bad for even for this there's it's gonna it's gonna be insane but for that price i'd say this is pretty nice all 13 gamma movies in blu-ray uh you get like a bunch of extra stuff you get all the comic books you got all that information stuff all the descriptions the, that interview the heisei trilogy uh like little run through got all the translation stuff it's just really cool if you're a really big fan of Gamera. I, as I said, I haven't watched any of the movies, but I absolutely love Gamera to death. He's so cool. 
I have his SH Monster Arts 1999 figure. And he's just such a cool monster. He's just such a... Uh, like, I don't know, he's like, he's not on the same level as Godzilla, like, no way, but he's like, he's up there, and by the way, legendary, put him in the monsterverse, come on, you can do it, you got Godzilla, how hard is it that you'll get Gamera, probably very hard, but you can still try, and that's what's important, but, uh, yeah, it's just, the, also the artwork in this thing, like, everything looks phenomenal. All the artwork is absolutely superb, and I have no complaints there. It is really, really, really nice. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say other than my final rating, which, for the price that I got it at, 5 out of 5. For the price that you would normally get it out, get it at, Four out of five. I really don't think that it's like worth 170. 125 seems a lot more reasonable. So uh, yeah, if you sh if you got it off of Amazon, good job. You do you you did good because it was really cheap on Amazon. So uh, yeah, if you don't have this, tough luck. <laughs> if you do have this, congratulations. Um, but I think that's gonna be it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.